This guy, Emirati Royal Hamad bin Khalifa Nahyan, has bought a 50% stake in this club, Beitar Jerusalem. It's not the first time we see a rich Arab royal buying a football club, but slightly awkward when the fans' favorite chant is death to the Arabs. And yet, that was them insulting Prophet Muhammad. The team is known and declared by its own fans as the most racist team in Israel. So is this story about Emirati normalization with Israel? Or has it gone way beyond that now? Is this tiny, ambitious nation losing any lasting sense of self-respect and dignity? Beitar Jerusalem is a major club in Israeli football, but always stood for more. For decades it represented Mizrahi Jews and the political right wing. Thought of the team of the underprivileged Israeli classes, the team enjoyed repeated success throughout its history, winning six league titles, seven cups and two super cups. Today as the right wing dominates Israeli politics, the team remains a fan favorite and even boasts the support of prominent right wing Israeli politicians like PM Benjamin Netanyahu and former PM Ehud Olmert. Baitar Jerusalem's most die-hard fans are a group called La Familia, and it's these youngsters that have brought global attention to the club for all the wrong reasons. They hold a banner in the stadium that says Baitar Forever Pure, in reference to the fact that the club has never signed an Arab player. They've even repeatedly threatened the club's management from doing so. And in 2013, in response to the club signing two Muslim Chechnyan footballers, they caused chaos. They booed them in the games, caused riot-like scenes in training, and even set fire to the club's offices. Fair to say that many Baita Jerusalem fans are die-hard anti-Arab and anti-Muslim nationalists, and perhaps a reflection of the never-ending issue of discrimination, racism, and violence in Israeli society. Baita today finds itself in trouble in the stands and on the pitch, fledgling behind in the bottom end of the league table and with an ongoing battle between the President Musha Hogging and its La Familia fan group. The IT millionaire who bought the club in 2018 wants to reform Baitar's image and has threatened to sue fans over discrimination and defamation. The club's notorious reputation has made it difficult to attract investors in the past, but the injection of $90 million by Sheikh Nahyan can be a much needed boost for the team and a way to rehabilitate its image. But that doesn't seem to be going well. This is footage of Baitar fans storming their own team's training ground a few days ago. It doesn't seem like they're taking the Emirati takeover so well. And they even graffitied a message to the Emirati Royal outside of the club saying Dubai and a bunch of other racist slurs welcoming Nahyan to his new club. When Nahyan was questioned about his decision to buy the club considering the racism, he responded quote, I think we should extend our arms to them and show them the light. It seems Nahyan thinks he's a messiah. And to make matters worse, after signing the deal to buy Beitar, he actually said, I am thrilled to be a partner in such a glorious club that I have heard so much about and in such a great city, the capital of Israel and one of the holiest cities in the world. Glorious club, thrill, holiest cities in the world. Is he serious? Israel maintains an international illegal siege over Gaza, occupies the West Bank and continues to build illegal settlements while violating basic human rights of Palestinians on a daily basis. Meanwhile, the Beitar fans continue to express their racism. and defame the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, it's all a mystery, really. 